What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and um, welcome to this analysis uh, of the Voyager token FGX, which is the token used on the Voyager exchange, of course. And uh, if you're watching this video, you probably know what happened with the Voyager exchange and with their uh, company, they went bankrupt. Um, at least that's what it looks like. They filed for bankruptcy, so now they're probably going to try to retrieve an, as many tokens as possible. If you want to know more about it, what I would strongly suggest, and I haven't actually read this, but what I would strongly suggest is looking up Voyager, Invest Voyager on Twitter. They have this big thread, which they posted two days ago about what's happening with the funds. So for everybody, <coughs> excuse me, for everybody involved, um, I just hope I have to sneeze again. Sorry. All right. Uh, I hope they get as many funds uh, back as possible. I definitely do think it's possible uh, for people to get at least a part of their funds back. I think that, I mean, it, it would, would be very bad if that wouldn't happen. Um, but I don't think Voyager is going to survive. So, so this move in price, I mean, we haven't even talked about that. It's, it's up 233%. Um, please be careful. There's probably money to be made, but I'm not sure if that's going long or going short because this move is definitely not expected. Um, I don't believe there's any news about it, right? I mean, we can we can quickly check that out, but I don't think no that 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 thing that happened was or or that thread I showed on Twitter was the last thing we heard about it. I mean, we can check out Reddit really quickly. Um, yeah see this is just it's it's up because a lot of this a lot of it is locked up right now they're saying so that means that there is a uh, i mean not a lot of people can sell right now right so so you always have supply and demand there's not a lot of supply uh, left for the demand uh so i definitely wouldn't trust this move i wouldn't long it i would perhaps short it at 50 cents but that's not financial advice in any type of way the, the most important thing is, is that you stay safe but let's actually check, take a look at the price too um so what we did is we actually got a breakout out of this 30 cents 35 cents area let's just delete this for a moment i can i can just do it um, and got up to this first resistance level at 50 cents it's a big psychological resistance level uh, with bull runs such as this one we can qualify this as a bull run um what you tend to see is that we react very heavily to psychological uh, resistance levels. So we did that now too. I think there's a chance that the, we can still get higher towards 68 cents or something where, where that's the next resistance level. So between uh, 63 and 68 cents. That's also where this 1.618 FIB is. So if we actually get a close above 50 cents on the four hour time frame, I think we can get there. We still have that, that 58 cents resistance level to push through, but if we close above 50 cents, I, th I think we'll do that. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, that's still possible, but I, as I'd say, uh, or as I said, I, I definitely wouldn't trade it. It's just too risky right now. Um, and it's probably within the next few days, it's probably going to fall really hard. Um, so what I expect actually is that we'll drop down to this 30 cents, 35 cents area. Uh, as long as we're above that level, I'd say there's still a possibility to break above 50 cents, but I think it's way more likely that once this drop happened, um, that it's a matter of time before we also see this drop down towards 25 cents and down towards uh, 20 cents. And then 20 cents we might actually hold for a longer period of time, but we could also very well drop down further if the news is bad, right? So I think something like that is more likely. So 20 cents is the first, 20 to 25 cents is the first support. I think that could hold. I don't think 30 cents would hold that long at least. Um, and, and yeah, altogether, I mean, it's, it's just a sad story about Forager, right? So I also wanted to talk a little bit about that in this video. Um, apart from that, and, and that's only to, to shake up the volatility too, somewhere this afternoon, for me, it's in about four hours, we will have inflation rate numbers for the United States, which the crypto market reacts very heavily to. So um, just let's just say those inflation rate numbers are way higher than expected, uh, will probably drop down very hard. So just be careful out there. That's the one thing I wanted to tell you about that. If you have any questions about it, if you have any questions regarding trading it, let me know. I mean, we can also always discuss it. For now though, thank you for watching and listening. 
Um, and I hope to see you all in my next videos too. Bye.